What's going on everybody, and welcome to part 11 of my playthrough for Pokemon Blue. In the last episode, we made our way through Rock Tunnel, which is probably the most difficult dungeon in my opinion. I guess la uh, later ones get more puzzly, quote unquote, but uh, this one is the least amount of fun for me and kind of the longest, but it brings us to my favorite place in the game, Lavender Town. Awesome direction, I like the color here, I like the music, I like how the pixels on the ground are different. I just enjoy it even though the whole town is like a graveyard. <laughs> uh, so the first thing we're going to do is deposit one of our slaves. We could deposit both, but I'll just, uh, no, no, <laughs> hold on to Paris and deposit Clefairy, because unless I am completely wrong, I don't think we ever need Flash again for the rest of the game. I'm pretty sure. And we don't need to heal. We didn't take that much damage. Nah, we're tough. So even though there aren't a lot of houses here, you can actually go into all of them. Ooh, let's start here. I just think going to be the one of the few towns I explore. This guy, very important. Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. Ooh. This, this guy, actually, he's, he's just like, I don't know, kind of strange. So which Pokemon should I look at? Uh, look at Paris. Paris, is it? Mm, that's a decent nickname. But would you like to give it a nicer name? Yep, this is where you can nickname your Pokemon, or change them if you didn't, you know, originally have a name before. So to show this off... Okay, this Pokemon has been renamed Slave. <laughs> yeah. So, see, as you can see, you can just nickname any Pokemon here you want, change the name at any given time, no cost, nothing like that. Just have to make it to this town, talk to that guy. So, that brings up the video I put out a couple days ago. If you check that video or check my channel, I hate those horrible rockets, the poor Cubone's mother. This is actually kind of where they bring in sadness to Pokemon, but like I was saying, on my channel, you can submit votes for any members of my team who you can see on the sidebars now. Uh, keep in mind, I'll be evolving all Pokemon to their fullest stage. So Kadabra will become Alakazam, Charmeleon will become Charmander. You know, just keep that in mind. That's odd, Mr. Fuji. Is that his name? <laughs> Isn't here. Where'd he go? That is his name, right? Mr. Yeah, Fuji. I always thought he was Mr. Flute. You'll see later why I used to call him Mr. Flute. What do you have to say? This town is known as the graveyard site of Pokemon. Isn't that kind of sad? More servers are held. Yeah, that's kind of sad, because you never really think of Pokemon dying. It's like, it's a kid's game, you know what I mean? Do you believe in ghosts? Absolutely. Really? So there are believers. What are you trying to say, kid? <laughs> or a woman, I can't tell from your sprite. Check the Pokemon, because... Hi there. Now that we are kind of... We kind of got to a part in the game where it's like, we're finally over the tutorial, any scripted stuff. We're really getting onto more of my favorite parts of the game. So there's a lot more to do, like Great Balls. I'm going to buy five of these just, you know, just in case down the road. They have a higher chance of catching than regular Pokeballs. Super Potions, buying ten. So I won't have to buy any more throughout the game, hopefully. And Revives. Revives are awesome items because they can literally bring a Pokemon back to life. Ooh, Super Repels. Get six of those. We got plenty of money from beating all those trainers and uh, from beating all the gym leaders, too. They give a lot of money. But Repels, I mean, Revives can instantly bring a Pokemon back to life. Even if they're dead, you don't have to go into a Pokemon Center, they're great. I recommend having a couple on you at any given time. Alright, so, there isn't a ton to do here, yet, but we will be coming back to this town, which is another reason why I like it so much. And I love the music in here, too. So, like, mystical and spooky. Uh, spirits, mischief, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh. You're telling me you made it through Rock Tunnel? I don't believe it. Hey, Roman, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. Oh, that's a challenge. You hear what he just said to me? That's a challenge. Bring it on, man. John wants to fight. Pidgeotto? Ha! <laughs> I laugh at Pidgeotto. Kadabra, use your overpowered attack. <laughs> Yeah, Psychic are critical. <laughs> and they get criticals. Kadabra is a lucky Pokemon like that. 23, alright. Growlithe, let's switch to Gyarados. Actually, he builds, he, uh, builds a pretty good team. Bubble Beam. Owned. Yeah, unfortunately, my team is better. <laughs> switch to Charmeleon. I pretty much have all typed attacks advantage on his. So, Ember... One hit. Oh, it's gonna be two hits. Oh no! Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful for executor, executive. You know, ah, uh, no, <laughs> no, um, because they have hypnosis attacks and he will spam them. 
Oh, 27, Charmeleon, yeah. Cadaver. He has a cadaver too, which kind of irks me, but uh, let's let's counter his cadaver. Let's see which cadaver is better. All right, my level's higher. Let's try dig. Ha! Huh. Teleport? Are you serious? Well, okay, yeah. He's oh, okay. Actually, I really did think Psychic was effective against Psychic. Critical hit. My cadaver is a lucky one. I know how to pick him. Disable seismic toss. Ah, oh, because that's what I was gonna use. You jerk. There we go. Defeat you with a not effective move. About to use War Turtle. Uh, and we can switch to Nidorina. Because from now on, Nidorina is going to have a very nice attack called Thunderbolt. Goodbye, War Turtle. Oh! I guess it's got a little bit of defense on it. Still, that's what I like about Nidorina so much. So many mixed types of attacks. I love it. Defeat John. That wasn't even a challenge. What, you stinker? <laughs> what are you, five? I took it easy on you, too. You couldn't even hit me, dude. Man, you better not try Pokemon Wi-Fi battles anytime soon. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. Oh, you? I seriously, right now I'm just going to say this, I don't know if I did before, but I seriously considered a Cubone because I seriously considered a Marowak for my team. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Like, the way he implies that, like, what do you mean? Cubone evolves into Marowak, so obviously if there's Cubones, there's still Marowaks. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Jerk. Alright, so there's really no point in progressing here anymore because... Well, let me just... I guess I'll show it off just because I can. Don't talk to her. She's boring. There are trainers in here. They all have ghost Pokemon. Mostly ghastly. But any Pokemon you encounter in here is going to be this thing. You can't ID it, so you can't catch it. And I don't think you can attack it either. Cadaver's too scared to move. Yeah, right. Get out, get out. Yeah, yeah, we're getting out. So really, there's nothing else we can do in there, at least. Do, do, do. We could stay here and dance. You guys want to dance? No? Do I hear a no? Is someone booing? That's fine. Ah, fine, we'll leave, we'll leave. So we're on to root, run, stupid root. I don't know. I don't know the name of this root. Uh, let's fight him. What do you got, buddy? He's a gambler, isn't he? They usually have polywhirls and uh, Growlithe. 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 Although Arcanine's a pretty good Pokemon, I, I think I like Rapidash more because it's faster. But Arcanine is a pretty good fire type. But obviously, I have Charmeleon, soon to be Charizard, so don't need for that. Man, Kadabra going up. Um, Volplex. Let's see. Save me toss? Uh, psh, no, what am I doing? Switch to Gyarados. Gyarados. Uh, <laughs> this is a hard one. Oh, you jerk. Bubble Beam. Woohoo! Alright, so... I don't know. I think this is why I want to keep Slave on us. Cut. Shortcut! You can catch a Growlithe in here, and I think a Ninetales too, or a Volpex, which can evolve into a Ninetales, but I'd still recommend a Rapidash. And skip a lot of trainers up there. Who, I mean, what? Who stands like that? Screw that. Um, nothing right there. Let's see, avoid trainers at all costs. Don't need to fight him if they're not required. Underground path to Celadon City. From Lavender Town. With love. Well, why do I have to take the underground path? I can just go right through here. Oh my guard duty. Gee, thirsty though. Oh wait, there uh the roads are closed. What? what? but it's the door! I'm like two feet away from the door. I, uh fine. I always thought that was stupid though. Because oh ooh, Because um it just, I, I don't know, I, I don't see why you can't just go through there. It, it blocks you off from certain parts of the game, but I always thought it was kind of dumb. Personally. Just a stupid idea, like, oh, I'm thirsty, I can't let you through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I heard sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. You heard right, pal. Underground Pass. Celadon City, Lavender Town. Yeah, that's where we would have come out. I don't know why he couldn't just let us do that. But hey, we are on to... Probably my second favorite city in the game, Celadon City. <gasps> a rocket member. 
Keep out of Team Rocket's way. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, let's see. We could heal up, I suppose, right? Took a little bit of damage there. Alright, so Celadon City is an awesome city, and there's a lot to show here. I don't think I can fit it all in one video, and I don't think I really want to try. Um, no, I'm not sure, but I think... Secret? Secret? No. I guess not back here, but... There is a secret back here. Secret entrance! Ooh! I bet no one saw that. I was the only person to ever find that out. Yep, that's right. And if you come to this secret, which takes you to the roof of this tower... You could talk to this guy. I know everything about the world of Pokemon. In your Game Boy. Whoa, way to break the fourth wall there, man. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. Yep, Nintendo really had to promote that. Roman got an Eevee, just like that. You pick up an Eevee. You want to give it a nickname? No, I won't, because I won't be using Eevee on my team, though I also consider using Eevee because it evolves into Vaporeon, and Vaporeon's a pretty good water type, but I like Gyarados better, obviously. But I would recommend Vaporeon if you don't like Gyarados. Eevee, if you don't know, can evolve into three types of Pokemon, at least in this game. Uh, Vaporeon of Water, Flareon of Fire, and Jolteon, a Electric type. And in the words of one of my most inspiring Let's Players, the only advice I can give you is don't evolve into Flareon. <laughs> Flareon is a terrible Pokemon. <laughs> no, I'll give you points if you can guess who that was. But, uh, no. <laughs> I don't really know if Flareon's a bad Pokemon. I didn't look up any stats for Eevee's family because I'm not using Eevee. I'll deposit it later. Hmm, we still got some time. There's a gym here, but we'll tackle it later on, a couple episodes later. This is the Game Corner. It's a place where you can pretty much gamble in a Pokemon game to, uh, buy Pokemon. Yep, that's right. Oh, coin case is required. Well, I guess now's as good as time in any to show you where you can get the coin case. Some people uh, might actually go an entire game without knowing where to get this, and it's really not that hard. You just kind of have to be one of those people who talk to people. Yeah, I know, social skills, terrible stuff. My Pokemon are weak, so I often have to go to the drugstore. I beg your pardon? <laughs> drugstore? You mean Pokemon Center, right? Yeah. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. Roman received the coin case. Yeah, not hard at all. And actually, psst, there's a basement under the game corner. Um, like a dungeon? You mean a dungeon? Why is an old man saying that to an 11 year old boy? Creepy. Munch. The man at the table lost all of the slots. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I don't know why that was stereotypical of me, I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, looks like a bunch of mean guys. What? <laughs> we shipped 2,000 Pokemon at slot prizes. Is that legal? Can you legally do that? That's just weird. Oh, that way's to the gym. You need Cut to get to this gym and a few other places, so I'd recommend holding on to the Pokemon that has Cut in your case. Hopefully Paris or whoever you taught it to. Just, you know, don't deposit them yet. Dun, dun, dun. I like the music here, too, in Celadon City. Do -do. And I like the music in here, too, for the slots. Now, uh, we'll talk to that Team Rocket member later, but here you can uh, buy coins. You can turn money into coins. It's just a rocket organization profit thing. It's better off to just gamble, really. Have you talked to a couple of these people? Kid, do you want to play? So you just receive a few coins for just talking to them, and then I'll show this off real quick. Slot machine, want to play? And I smile. That just promotes gambling. Uh, let's do three. Why not? Come on, lucky seven. Diglett. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Jigglypuff. Oh, we can we can line this up if I can get a row of Jigglypuffs diagonally. Yeah, woo! Uh, no, <laughs> I think the first one is rigged. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure the first time you play it's rigged. <laughs> so you will win. Alright. Come on, for real this time. Lucky seven! Ah. Oh. oh, oh, Diglett, Diglett! Oh, Jigglypuff. Not this time. One more try, one more try. Third time's a charm. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! Oh, man, don't get me started. No, I honestly, I don't, I don't gamble or drink or know the evils of women. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I don't really do any of that stuff, though. I play video games, and that's a bad enough addiction. We exchange your coins here for prizes. 
Now, this is actually really, really cool. Pinsir, also a Pokemon I highly consider for my team, but didn't because I didn't want to do all this. And there's also a Dratini here, which is actually pretty good because it can evolve into Dragonite, and Dragonite is probably one of the best Pokemon overall in the game. And a rare Dragon type, as far as this generation goes. And then finally, you've got Porygon. Porygon is a Pokemon I've never seen anyone use. I bet my friend uh, Tyler, who's doing a yellow run right now, I gave him a shout-out. You can find his channel through mine, of course. Collab stuff going on there. But uh, if he actually gets a Porygon, I will, I don't know, just give him serious props because I've never seen anyone get a Porygon or use it. So it'd kind of be cool to see. And you can also get lower level Pokemon here. Like, if you didn't get a Abra but want a Kadabra now, you could get that. Clefairy and... Nidorino? Stupid. And I'm pretty sure you can get TMs here. Yeah, I don't know what these TMs do. Um, if I'm not lazy, they'll come up on screen right now. If I am lazy, which I probably will be, you can probably just buy these or get them other places. So don't worry about it too much. I guess if you really were doing this or had a lot of money to convert into coins, you could get these things, but it's not worth it, in my opinion. Alright, so I think that's good enough for now. We did some stuff in Lavertown, as much as we could do then, and we've got still a lot to explore here. We've got the whole department store. Yeah, it's going to be lots of fun in the next episode. So I thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. And until next time, later.